Have you been searching for solutions to help you go through your transition to menopause with ease? In this video, I will share 8 things to help you calm your perimenopause and postmenopausal symptoms. These solutions will help you take control of your body, mind and emotions and embrace life just as they've done for me. Get ready to behold a healthier, happier and more confident you in spite of all things menopause. The first solution is my personal favorite. It's lifestyle changes. Girls, adopting a healthy lifestyle can calm our symptoms. A healthy lifestyle means that we adopt a new mindset, which is whatever is best for my body, mind and emotions is best for me. A healthy lifestyle means making healthy choices about what we eat, what we drink, how active we are, how much sleep we get each night, among so many other things. There are several things that make up a healthy lifestyle, so I've broken those into six subtopics. I'll briefly examine those and then come back to discuss the remaining seven solutions which women are using to beat perimenopause wahala. Point A of healthy lifestyle is to get active. By active, I mean during the daytime as much as you can. Don't form the habit of sitting down or lying down for more than an hour at a stretch. You want to become that person who anyone who knows you will describe you as that person that doesn't sit down in one place. At work, depending on what you do for work, set alarms at one hour intervals and get up. Go do anything. Get water from the dispenser or fountain. Check on the Gen Z people in the next office so you can catch them pressing their phones on company time. Whatever. You just do you. Get up and walk. Or if you can, get a smartwatch, which will help you ensure you do a minimum of 250 steps each hour. Any brand is fine, it doesn't have to be expensive. If you work from home, or you're home a lot, or you own a store, you need to get up and run your own errands. No more sending everyone else around. Get up and do it yourself. And know that you're doing yourself a huge favor. All the sitting in one spot is not helping you one bit. Let me let you in on a secret for my Nigerian sisters. All this activity is one reason why the domestic help is looking more and more giving every day in your hand-me-downs while Oga Madam, the lady of the manor, keeps buying larger clothes size each year. This is especially important for those of us who feel that gaining weight means that you have peace of mind. The reverse is the case for me. When I am happiest, I lose weight, and once I'm stressed out, I begin to gain more weight. Point B, regular exercise. Regular exercise means being intentional, as in go out of your way or make a deliberate effort to walk briskly, dance vigorously, or do a workout at home in the gym, or swim or play any sport for a minimum of 30 minutes a day, at least five days a week. You can start with a brisk walk and build up to 30 minutes after time. The longer, the better. Notice that I said brisk walk and not stroll. Out of breath, sweating, and not being able to hold the conversation is what we're trying to achieve. If you notice I didn't mention running, as high intensity cardio increases our stress levels, which is not good for our bodies in perimenopause or postmenopause, and will not help you lose weight at this time of your life. Trust me on this because I used to be the queen of cardio until I realized that I was putting on even more weight. At this point, you're probably thinking that if cardio doesn't work, what does? Point C. Moderate strength or resistance training is helpful. The meaning of strength training is activities that make our bones and our muscles stronger. This type of training or exercise is so important because we lose muscle and bone density as we go older. It's always so much harder to build muscle once we begin the transition to menopause. When we lose bone density, our bones can break easily if we fall. Point D. Still part of lifestyle changes is a balanced diet, which foods as close to their natural form as possible. We're trying to eat foods that have just come from the farm and which you can eat raw instead of foods in nylons, foils, paper wrap and cartons that are sold in the supermarket or the grocery store. All our fresh fruits, veggies, nuts and seeds, which we already have in abundance everywhere in Nigeria. 
We can add soy. I love soy milk. You could also add sweet potatoes and beans to your diet. This way of eating is close to the world famous Mediterranean style diet, which we can also call a majorly plant diet as it comprises of fruits, veggies, nuts, seeds, whole grains, herbs, and moderate quantities of eggs, dairy, and poultry, and restricted amounts of red meat. At the same time, we are intentionally minimizing processed foods and added sugar. Eating processed foods can make you gain weight and result in lifestyle diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, heart and circulatory diseases. Many processed foods contain trans fats and saturated fats, and these are not healthy. They contain a high number of calories and little to no nutrients. A processed food is any food that has been altered in some way during preparation. Food processing can be as basic as cooking, frying or baking. These processes remove the fiber and other nutrients which our body needs and then strange or should I say unhealthy ingredients are then added. Although different things work for different women, this way of intentionally eating your way to good health, long life and weight loss is ideal because that's what your body wants. You can almost hear your body giving you a round of applause each time you're eating healthy. Point E. Sleep. Six to eight hours of sleep most nights is enough for most people. What are the benefits of adequate sleep? We are ill less often, we stay at a healthy weight, we are at a lower risk for serious lifestyle health problems like diabetes and heart disease. Getting enough sleep reduces our stress levels and improves your mood. Brain fog and confusion can be reduced when we get enough sleep because we think more clearly and do better at work. Also, we'll be less irritable and get along better with people. When your sleep meter is empty or so close to empty, nobody feels good. When I haven't had enough sleep, which is about six to eight hours of sleep each night, I can't think straight. It's like I'm in a daze and then I keep putting food in my mouth, even though I'm not hungry, with the hope that chewing something will keep me awake, but it doesn't work. I found out the hard way. I was just consuming unnecessary calories and so I gained about 5 kilograms. It can be quite challenging getting enough sleep. Point F. Stress. How do we reduce our stress levels? We can do that if you eat healthy, exercise, get plenty of sleep and then give yourself a break if you feel stressed out. Take care of your body. Take deep breaths. Stretch meditate or pray also we need to calm down learn to mind your own business learn how to ignore unimportant things and issues that you can't change try to love yourself in spite of all the changes that are happening to you and i can tell you from personal experience that i feel so much better and my symptoms are less evident whenever i'm exercising regularly eating healthy and being intentional about keeping my stress levels down i know it's not easy to just wake up one day and start your healthy lifestyle journey but you can start slowly one day at a time easy does it not because it's easy but because that's the best we can do okay we've looked at lifestyle changes now we'll consider seven other solutions which help with calming our perimenopause and postmenopause symptoms two hormone therapy hormone replacement therapy also known as hrt involves taking estrogen or a combination of estrogen and progesterone to balance hormone levels and ease symptoms. HRT comes in different forms. There's the patch, there are gels, there are creams, pellets and tablets. Unfortunately, HRT is not readily or easily available in Nigeria and if you can find it, it is extremely expensive. If you live somewhere where HRT is available at a reasonable price, this option should be discussed with a healthcare professional as it has potential benefits and risks. HRT is effective for as long as you keep taking it. Once you stop taking HRT, the symptoms which the HRT can would likely resurface. I have also learned from doctors that the sooner you start taking HRT, the better, because it helps prevent all our symptoms from degenerating and reduces our risks of osteoporosis, which is fragile bones, and heart disease. 3. 
non-hormonal medications there are non-hormonal medications available to manage specific symptoms for example doctors say selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors can help with hot flashes mood swings and sleep disturbances these are also not readily available in this part of the world talking about hot flashes i have something which i recently started taking for hot flashes and I've experienced a significant improvement. It's Estrovan Complete Plus Ashwagandha Menopause Relief. See link in the description and in my bio. For natural remedies. Some women find relief from symptoms through natural remedies like herbal supplements, like sea moss, ginseng, kava, evening primrose, yam, yes yam, maca root powder, black seed oil, chest tree berry, pollen extract, cloves and so many more also useful for women are acupuncture or meditation again it's important to consult with your health care professional before trying any alternative therapies five vitamins and supplements are quite helpful especially vitamin d magnesium omega-3 all the vitamins and probiotics I have an earlier video where i talk about nine different supplements which are helpful for various perimenopause and postmenopause symptoms. Six, support groups and counseling. Talking to a menopause well-being practitioner or mentor gives you emotional support and encouragement. This is someone like me who has experienced or is experiencing the transition to menopause. As we all know, perimenopause can be a dark place to be, and that's why I do what I do. Having gone through five years of this transition so far, my purpose and my passion is to go tell it on the mountain that you are not alone. It is not your fault. You are not crazy. You are not lazy and you will get your life back. I'm committed to helping women become happier, stronger, healthier, confident and more comfortable in our new skin. Seven is empowerment. Empower yourself with knowledge about perimenopause and postmenopause, what to expect, all the possible 60 plus symptoms and then track your symptoms and find out what triggers them books and videos by menopause specialists and healthcare professionals can help you demystify the experience i have over 200 videos on this channel on different topics from 60 plus symptoms to supplements to frequently asked questions you name it we've got it and even much more is coming soon eight Tell your story. Tell everyone exactly what you're going through. Sisters, daughters, nieces, friends, so they can get a heads up and identify the symptoms at the start of their own journey. But most importantly, tell the man in your life, if you have one, be patient with him as he tries to grasp that the reason you become a totally different person is due to your hormones. If you're having difficulty communicating, you can share some short videos with him. Next, tell your boss at work and your colleagues. It's important for them to realize that the status quo has changed and it's their turn to support you. I really wish you good luck with this because perimenopause affects everyone and everything around you and there's a strong likelihood that your performance will take a hit. As we wrap up, remember that lifestyle changes make a huge difference and can help keep our perimenopause and postmenopause symptoms calm. Remember, everyone's experience is unique, so what works for one person may not work for another. It's important to work with a healthcare provider to determine the best options based on your unique circumstance and your medical history. Take good care of yourself. Don't forget to be your sister's keeper. I'll see you soon.